Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Tomorrow by Nadine Cardan. So get comfy and I'll begin. Yazan no longer went to the park and he no longer saw his friend who lived next door. Everything around him was changing. Even his mother had changed. She had stopped painting. Yazan and his mother used to spend hours painting together. Sometimes he had been happy just watching her paint. Now, the minute she woke up, she would watch the news with the volume turned up loud, so loud. Each time they wanted to leave the house, Yazan's father would make lots of phone calls. When Yazan asked why, he would say, Traffic! We're trying to avoid the traffic! Yazan felt really stuck. No park and no friends. One day there was school and then no school the next. He even started to miss going to school, which was a surprise. That weekend, the hours seemed so long with nothing to do. Yazan got out of bed and tried to keep himself busy. He drew a few doodles. He built a castle out of pillows. He even made 142 paper planes. But he was still bored, bored, bored. He went to the living room and screamed, I want to go to the park now! But his parents were watching the news and didn't even turn around. Not today, Yazan, said his mother. Yazan grabbed his bicycle, which he hadn't touched for over a month. He stood by the front door and wondered whether to go to the park by himself. He thought long and hard about it. He knew his mother would be angry if he left without her permission. But he looked at his bike and was tempted by its shiny red paint and its new bell that made four different sounds. Ding, ling, 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 ling. He opened the door and walked outside. When he reached the street, it was completely empty. Everything was different. Abu Said, who sold tasty beans and cumin from his trolley, was nowhere to be seen. Neither were the kids Yazan usually played with. Frightening sounds exploded all around. Yazan didn't know what to do. Should he continue to the park or go home? Suddenly he saw his father striding towards him. He took his hand and they walked home together. Yazan waited to be told off for leaving the house without permission. But his father didn't say a word. When they arrived home, Yazan's mother was waiting for him. She ran to him and hugged him very tightly. Don't ever, ever go out of the house by yourself again, she said. She looked at Yazan and his little red bike. Then she grabbed her paintbrushes and paints and went to Yazan's room. Yay! Mama is painting again, Yazan cried. His father smiled. But this time she'll be painting on the wall. Yazan sat and watched his mother painting on the wall of his bedroom. I'm really sorry, she said, but you can't go to the park right now. People are fighting in the streets and going out of the house is too dangerous. When will the fighting be over? asked Yazan. I don't know, replied his mother, but let's paint a park in your bedroom, an amazing park with everything you've ever dreamed of. And soon you'll be able to go outside again and play. Thanks for listening. See you next time.